name is Divine and today I am going to show you basic world edit commands, how to set things, how to copy and paste, and how to flip. So, and you select your two points with your axe or use that command or this command, and you slash 98 or, you know, preference, your block of preference. Uh, let's say, let's say I want to make a building. Crazy idea, am I right? So you make a square building. I'm gonna select these two points and slash slash set diamond. That makes it all diamond. I don't know how to really explain it. So once that is done, you can select your two points. And a lot of people have trouble using the copy command. And you just, you're not supposed to use copy randomly. Like you're not supposed to like walk over here and do slash slash copy. Because where you do the copy command is where your build will be replicated. And if you're doing the copy command far away from your build, then your build will be replicated at that distance, which means that when you do slash paste, it will replicate itself and paste it at that distance of accuracy. So what you could do is you like, Two most common places of doing your copy and paste would be the center or the center of your building. So let's, let's go on and do slash slash copy. All of those blocks got copied and we can do slash slash rotate 90. Essentially that rotates your selected build 90 degrees and then it makes it, makes it so that you should turn 90 degrees and then paste A, you can do that again, rotate it 90 degrees, and then paste dash A, make sure you're doing paste dash A because it doesn't copy the error, and you don't want to copy the error because that causes lag and problems. <laughs> so another easy way of doing it is just by copying it from the center of your building and doing rotate 90, paste A. And then using your arrow key on your keyboard, you can press T and then up, 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 up. And there you have it. You have your full wall. But let's say that this is actually your center and that you're just using two buildings to make one building, one large building, like what I did over here. You can see that example. What you want to do is that you actually want to copy and paste this whole thingy. Okay, position two. And you want to do slash slash copy in the middle. And then you turn right or whatever direction you want to flip it and you do slash slash flip dash P. Or on some bucket plugins, you won't be able to do slash dash P, which is fine. You just do flip. And then you do your paste dot A and it should, pay, it should flip it just like that. You shouldn't really have any difficulties. Um, let's say I want to undo everything or just make it error. You just select everything. It's like, it's like making a box and then you do slash set error. And there we go. Okay, folks, I found a really good copy and paste, uh, whatchamacallit, a copy and paste example. So right now I have half of a wall that I just stole from over there and I'm going to show you how to do this. So you do your positions. Use form here and notice to well. How's your day? Mine's been okay. I love Microsoft Oops. <laughs> slash slash pause two. Here. You do flip P. Uh, whoops. And then you do slash slash paste dash A. And there you have it. I believe this is the center. If I'm not mistaken. Do slash copy. And then you do slash flip P. And then paste. There we go. I'm sorry, but this is the truth. I mean, aesthetically, people don't like it because it looks ugly, just like having something repeated a million times. I paste it here. Um, I paste it here. It, pastes, it just pastes in front of me because that's where I copied paste. I hope you all get the idea. And then you do da da da. Yep.
Oh yeah, missing slash slash move. Well, it, move causes a lot of lag, so what I usually like to do is... Um... I honestly just like to delete it with set error and then paste it somewhere else but whatever you can use move as well so you want to look at the direction you're facing and then slash slash move however amount of blocks you want um, but keep in mind that it only moves your positions which means you can't do slash move that way again if it's up there because your positions aren't set there but uh, yeah, you get the idea that the basics if you're one of those people who have trouble using world edit you can go to this video as a you know just as a guide so i really hope you enjoyed this video of course if you did be sure to hit that like button it really means a lot i will see you all soon thank you and goodbye